Hello everybody and welcome to a very very exciting patch update to Marvel Heroes. This one being the first uh, major numerical patch that we've had in a long time. This one being 2.4. And you can see uh, first off we have our very frightening and very good friend Cosmic Dupe here staring at us. Or staring slightly off screen wondering what he's all scared about. But anyway, uh, very exciting uh, this time we have the release of the team-ups, which are very, very cool, which I'll get into in just a little bit. Really nice, but before I do that, the weekend event uh, for this week is going to be until April 15th, which is uh, Monday, I believe. And they have doubled the drop rates of team-up gear, uniques, insignias, rings, and cosmic medallions. So very, very exciting. And in addition to that, throughout the weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, you get a team-up gift box every day that you log in, which includes a, a complete rare set uh, for team-ups, which again, I'll explain in just a little bit. Right, so very exciting. Uh, today, I'm going to be using our good friend Taskmaster. Uh, I've got him to level 52, so I unlocked his uh, ultimate, which is very, very exciting. And I actually have purchased two of the team-ups, which is really cool cool now uh the first thing with the team ups is that they can be a little bit confusing at first uh but it's relatively simple once you get to know how to use them so i've got two of the team ups i have magic and falcon and the way it works is you open up your hero roster with uh t as the default button uh again and you'll notice that each character has a small portrait in the upper right corner and you can see here taskmaster has the little image of magic indicating that he has magic um bound to him as the team up at present uh so you go to your other tab here that says team up heroes and you can see whichever of the currently four uh team ups that you have available you just click whichever one you want and then you can say set active so i'm going to stick with magic for now right now there's a couple other very important things first is the inventory for them uh, so you can see right down here you have a little portrait of whatever team up person you have and essentially you right click it and it allows you to view uh, whatever you have equipped or and whatever powers you have so right here you've got the gear the communications relay the slot one uh, defense screen slot two hostile unit analyzer in slot three and the biometrics enhancer in slot four so for the gear for the team ups uh, it's been stated officially that it goes from white to blue so the common up to rare uh, as of right now we don't have epic or cosmic or unique or anything like that I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, it might be planned. It might not be. And uh, the other thing is we do have statistics for the team up heroes regardless of uh, who they are. Uh, so you can see some uh, pretty interesting stuff there. They can give you additional riff and sift, the rare and special item find. And actually on that note, the gear for the team ups is all rare item find. Uh, so the way that the team ups work is with this unique sort of grid power uh, going on here where for each tier you pick one of three sort of abilities uh, somewhat similarly to doing the costume uh, affixes where you have four tiers and on each one you can get a different thing so in this case uh, you've got the the tier one being the uh, companion assist or enchanted might powers and I know on magic and falcon these are the same I don't know if it's the same on the other two it very well maybe if anybody knows uh, please let everybody else know so that we can all know uh, so essentially what happens is typically the uh, without anything uh, these will only last for 30 seconds uh, once you summon the teammate But if you have for example the companion picked they stay there forever until they're defeated Which is obviously very helpful you can have assist which means that the hero is only going to be there for 30 seconds But it vastly increases damage and health rege regeneration So that's really good for the bosses or whatever and then enchanted might uh, This is actually one where if your teammate is a way you get bonuses so in this case you get additional damage damage rating and regenerate health so pretty nice and uh, basically if you use the um, the team up less often uh, than you probably should or think you do then uh, that's the one that you want to go with uh, the second tier are uh, more of the defense based ones so the bodyguard which is 10% uh, of your damage goes to the 
team up. Uh, you can decrease the cooldown period. The cooldown period starts off at 3 minutes. And you can decrease it by one second per enemy defeated. And then I personally have the Treasure Seeker. This is another one where while the team up is away, uh, then you get additional Rift, Sif, and Credit Find, which is very exciting. And uh, I would probably tend to forget to add in my team up. So definitely kept that one. And uh, for Magic here, we've got the uh, Tier 3 and 4, which are her specific powers. She uses a really awesome sword, the Soul Sword, as I'm sure most of you are aware. And that's half of the reason why I picked her, because she's got a giant sword that she slashes everybody with. It's super cool. The power that I picked is uh, she teleports to enemies and cleaves them with her Soul Sword. Awesome. Love it. Great. And it's a bouncing attack, so awesome. I love it. But again, uh, you've got the Team Up Away power as well, and uh, that basically does a random explosion in uh, the case of Magic. And then the uh, Tier 4 is actually a summon tier, which is really cool. I uh, chose the Prince of Other Place because it sounded awesome, and it summons a demon that has... Uh, basically a thousand percent of your health which is 10 times your health 10 times your defense rating and uh, lasts for 15 seconds with a 60 second cooldown so pretty awesome in other words or you can have denizens of other place which are a bunch of little guys instead of the one big guy and then the uh, team up away person is uh, again you've got a a chance to summon another demon in this case 2.5 percent uh, and again it's a summon that helps you out and blah, blah, blah. Very exciting. Uh, one other very important thing is we get another uh, 30 inventory slots, which is always very nice to have. So we can take things and just stick them in the team up inventory there. Uh, so again, always very nice to have. Uh, always great to have more room. And uh, just, just to show you really uh, briefly, I'll show you here with uh, Falcon. We'll change this up a little bit. So you see, again, the uh, the top two tiers are exactly the same, and then the bottom two tiers are the ones that are specific for Falcon. Like I said before, I don't know if it's the same for all four of the Team Up Heroes, where the top two are the same and the bottom two are the unique ones. I'm going to assume that it is. And incidentally, as a side note, uh, this is where I put my gift uh team up gear uh, which in my case was the uh, gifted communicator that gives extra damage and more credits so pretty awesome i'm going to go ahead and stick that in the inventory one nice thing is the um the items do not bind to a specific team up hero just like uh, you are not limited to the number of characters a single um a single team up hero can have so for example i can uh, go over to hulk here uh just for funsies switch over to hulk and this we'll say hurt. i want him to team up with falcon and there we go very very simple and you can get as many or as few characters as you want to have the same or different team ups whatever it is it's a really really cool feature it's a lot of fun really great i'm going to switch back to taskmaster hop into x defense so you guys can see uh magic in action because she's pretty awesome uh but basically uh i think it's a great feature i had a lot of fun with it in the brief amount of time that i played with it uh with the the team up mechanic uh and obviously this is the uh oops i meant to uh queue for x defense here uh Again, it is the, the main new mechanic here for uh, 3.4, and that's why it is 3.4 rather than the next 3.37 it would have been in this case. Um, so yeah, just really exciting. And incidentally, one thing I forgot to mention, whenever you uh, want to summon your uh, match, currently the default key is K. So you just push K and then your good friend comes. They do have their own separate AI that uh, does their, their own thing, uh, they pick their own targets, uh, they also pick their own attacks, so you don't have to worry about anything regarding them, uh, re as far as that goes anyway. So very, very exciting. As of right now, um, the uh, Gazillion has said that they, they're planning on a great deal more team-ups, and we can have, obviously Spider-Man is the first one, but we can have team-ups that are also characters and uh, vice versa. 
characters that start off as team ups. Um, ooh, Eternity Splinter. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ooh, I should go fight myself. Uh, but yeah, just a really, really cool, uh, great, interesting mechanic. Obviously, one thing that's a little bit worrisome is going to be uh, some of the scaling uh, potential issues that we can have here. Oh, sweet, got into X defense. Um, so other than that, not really a great deal of changes on this one. Obviously, the team up mechanics are enormous. There's a whole lot going on with them. So it's uh, a really, really big endeavor by Gazillion to start up these team-ups. Uh, but other than that, uh, there were some other minor issues that were fixed as well. Uh, a couple of them actually with Taskmaster, which I was very excited about. Uh, for those of you who play Taskmaster, then you'll know uh, his original uh, arrow attack, the, uh, the gas attack, uh, has now been changed uh, not only in name... Ha, I just destroyed myself. I win. Take that, me. I hate it when this happens. Yeah, Everything's all stacked up. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'll just take it all. Whatever. So, uh, basically, the the attack is now physical, whereas it it used to be, I believe it was energy, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, they uh, they changed it up. So uh, now now it's physical, and it makes more sense for what it is and what it does and all that kind of stuff, which is very very nice. Uh, other than that, a couple other minor changes to uh, both heroes and enemies. Uh, they rebuffed Magneto again as part of the Brotherhood of Mutants. Uh, announced some more stuff as far as um, upcoming uh, features and uh, what they're still working on. For example, with the raids that are coming up relatively soon. And the other major thing is the relook at uh, the... Uh, stats here, the uh, the major attributes, and those are all under review. They have been for a while, actually, but uh, it's finally going to come to fruition, and there's going to be some fairly major alterations to those, which is very exciting. So I believe those are really all of the major ones. I'll put more in the, uh, the notes, obviously, below, and certainly link to the patch notes, as always. Uh, but with that... Uh, everybody enjoy the bonus weekend. Have a great time. Hope that you find a cosmic dupe. Uh, have fun with all of your awesome team ups and good luck finding some of those uniques. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.